This resource is for our liturgical interpreters. It is the fifth Sunday of Lent. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who opens the ways of the seas and the path in the mighty waters, who leads out chariots and horsemen, a powerful army, until they prostrate together, never to rise, snuffed out and quenched like a wick. Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago, consider not. See, I'm doing something new. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? In the desert, I make a way. In the wasteland rivers, wild beasts honor me, jackals and ostriches. For I put water in the desert and rivers in the wasteland for my chosen people to drink, the people who I formed for myself, that they might announce my praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Together, the Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion. We were like men, dreaming. Then our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Our reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I consider everything a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them to be rubbish, and I may gain Christ to be found in him. Not having any righteousness of my own based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteous 
from God, depending on faith to know him and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by being conformed to his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or that I have already attained perfect maturity. But I continue my pursuit and hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I, for my part, do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing. Forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead. I consider my pursuit towards the goal, the prize of God's upward calling in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people were coming to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. And made her stand in the middle. They said to him, teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. So what do you say? They said this to test him so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground, and in response, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Women, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 